guess we know what we have to do to get down. Yeah, I guess we don't have a choice. Help us! Please help us! We're stuck up on the roof and we can't get down! Ross. I was thinking we'd just go down the fire escape. I know, I wasn't finished. But don't worry! We're gonna go down the fire escape! Transplant? It's ridiculous. Well, I think it's ridiculous that you haven't had sex in three and a half months. It's winter, there are fewer people on the street. She isn't home. So it would just be me alone? Well, Ben would be there. No. Huh. Um, What's the matter? Well, you know, it's just, uh, I've never done that before. Me and him alone. Wait, she's not an ex-con. Okay, okay. That's great. Yeah. That is great. What did we just finish talking about, oh. Ben? What did we just finish talking about, Ben? That's it. Come here. You no, you are in big trouble, young man. No, wait. I, no, Ben, come here. I am not kidding. No, you guys I, I'm oh, serious. Oh, oh, it's not oh, oh, my God. I wish I didn't have to go. Believe me. Unfortunately, I have to. Oh, um, by the way, what's the name of the girl you're dating? Kristen Lay. Lay. Bye. <laughs> just, uh, just tell them there was a mix-up with the invitations. Or... No, no, no. Blame it on the post office. They hate the post office. And the Irish. But I don't think you could blame it on them, so... Hello? Yeah, hi, uh, Mrs. Tribbiani? Hi, this is Monica Geller. Yeah, I'm, I'm just calling to say that Chandler and I uh, really hope that you can make it to the wedding. Yeah, apparently a bunch of the invitations that we sent uh, weren't delivered. Um, I guess there was some screw-up at the damn post office. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the U.S. post office? No, more like U.S. lost office. <laughs> what are they, Irish? <laughs> Ross is Batman. <laughs> Well, he did manage to keep his identity secret for a long time. Huh? An invitation to the At First Sight premiere? Oh, my God. Val Kilmer didn't wear this in Batman. He wore it to the premiere of some tutti-frutti love story where he played a blind guy. <laughs> Let me see that. Oh, man. The only superpower you have is a slightly heightened sense of smell. You wear for the ceremony. Huh? I wear it like this when I marry you guys, and then this is for party time. It's so slow, he could never hurt it. It's a car, Monica, not a rocket ship. Whatever, Ross, just replace the bulbs and the brake lights after you're done. If you want to go for a ride in the Porsche, I'll be glad to take you for a quick spin around the block. Yeah, you got a couple hours? What do you want to say to you? I'm, I'm not saying as your friend. Okay, I'm, I'm saying it as Monica's older brother. But you're still my friend. Not for the next few minutes. During this time, are you, are you still my best man? Nope. Do I still call you Ross? Okay. <laughs> you guys are getting married tomorrow, and, and I couldn't be more thrilled for both of you. But as Monica's older brother, I, I have to tell you this. If you ever hurt my little sister, if you ever cause her any unhappiness of any kind, I will hunt you down and kick your ass. <laughs> what? 
I'm, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, dude, <clears throat> stop it, okay? <clears throat> I'm, I'm not kidding here. Hey, I hear what you're saying, okay? And thanks for the warning. <laughs> no problem. So are we friends again? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you won't believe what Monica's older brother just said to me. <laughs> nice shades. Thanks. Yeah, I figure if I wear these in my scenes, at least I won't get spit in my eyes. You know? <laughs> and if I remember correctly, Ray-Ban was the official sponsor of World War I. <laughs> Great. Beautiful baby. Congratulations. <laughs> I hope you're a better father than you are a friend! <laughs> There's got to be a way. Easy there, Captain Kirk. <laughs> oh, do you have a bobby pin? Yeah. Oh, no, wait. I'm not a nine-year-old girl. <laughs> then why do you throw like one? Tuna sandwich with pickle. Pickle? Pickle makes her sick. Giving her pickles like giving me salad. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Mitch. I didn't know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. But can someone please make sure that that sandwich is gone when I get out there? I'm on it. <laughs> Man, I, I'm your older brother. Ask me. Oh, okay, big brother. Um, which one of these do you think would make your little sister look hotter, so your best friend would want to do her? <laughs> the red one. Well, remember the first time you saw Jaws? How long it took to go back in the water? I'm not great at the advice. Can I interest you in a sarcastic comment? Some cheese. Um, and that when we were at the Christmas party, and he got drunk, and he said to me, Rachel, I want to buy your baby. Man. When you said it was a problem about your boss and the baby, I figured it was something about maternity leave. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been a much simpler problem. I told him very nicely, you don't go buying people's babies, so back off. What? 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 Oh, Why? So that we would have something to talk about, so it wouldn't be awkward. And you couldn't think of anything else? You said your boss wants to buy your baby? I can't believe you yelled at my boss. I'm, I'm going to lose my job. What am I going to do? You could always sell your baby. Is that any extra ribbon? Oh, yeah, sure. What do you need? We got uh, lace, satin, sateen, raffia, gingham, felt. <laughs> And I think my testicles may be in here, too. Uh, I, I'm a paleontologist. Um, I, I live in New York. I have a son, Ben. Uh, hi, Ben. And, uh... I said a little bit, Ross. Now, how about you, Chandler? Well, Joey, I'm a headhunter. I hook up out-of-work Soviet scientists with rogue third-world nations. Hi, Rasputin. Hey, Joey, come taste this. What is it? Remember that guy that gave me a bad review? Well, what? I'm getting my revenge. You cooked them? Hi, come on in. I'm uh, Regina Falange. Chandler Bing. Oh, Bing. What an unusual name. Well, you should meet my uncle, Bada. <laughs> I'll let myself out. What the hell are you talking about? The South will rise again, man. <laughs> Yes, money well spent. <laughs> okay, what else? Rent. Okay, uh, two, three years of rent, utilities, food. Okay, okay. So I'm writing you a check for... So you fell asleep during my movie. <laughs> Big deal, right? <laughs> How do you clear this thing? Listen, I actually needed to talk to you before the birth. Okay, what's up? I brought something that I want to give you. Assuming, of course, that you want it. 
Ma, you asking me to marry you? <laughs> One, two, three! <laughs> oh, oh, Keep pushing! Are you okay? Oh. <sighs> you have no idea how much this hurts. <laughs> I really want to talk to you. I still need to talk to you. Oh, uh, but before you guys do that, I need to talk to you. And Ross, I need to talk to you. <laughs> oh, and I need to talk to you. About what? See if you know what these guys are talking about. <laughs> Dude, I just did something terrible. That was you? I thought it was Jack. <laughs> no, no, that was Jack. Rachel thinks I asked her to marry me. What? Why does she think that? Because it kind of looked like I did. <laughs> Again, what? I was down on one knee with the ring in my hand. As we all are at some point during the day. I want a baby. Honey, we've been over this. I need to be facing the other way. Do you think my nipples are too big for her mouth? <laughs> Why don't we try massage in the breast to stimulate the flow? Okay. Are you kidding me? Waiting. Why doesn't she want my breast? I don't know. Maybe she's crazy. <laughs> You still haven't told Rachel you weren't really proposing? No. She had the ring on, she seemed so excited, and, and then she took her breast out. <laughs> Joey, you have to tell her what's going on, and what did it look like? Do you have a hole? Why don't you go lie down? No, no, it's okay. Ross and Rachel will be back soon, and then I gotta go to the office. <laughs> <laughs> Am I producing them? Walter. Um, oh, you know who's great? Sandy Pupak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, well, that rules out Lana Titwiler. Ah! Hey. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Looking for restaurant jobs for you in Tulsa. Oh, that's so sweet. Did you find anything? Slim Pickens. Mm, nothing, huh? No, Slim Pickens. It's a barbecue joint. <laughs> They're looking for a cook. Actually, cook may be a bit of a stretch. They're looking for somebody to shovel mesquite. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Yes, it will be the same. Because I know that's how. I promise. You double promise? <laughs> Call me when you land. Can I talk now? Okay, bye. Joey! He had the board. <laughs> you should bring your black see-through teddy with the attached garters. <laughs> How do you know I have one of those? Didn't until just now. <laughs> I need you to set me up for a joke. Later, when Monica's around, I need you to ask me about fire trucks. Ooh, I, I don't know, Chandler. I'm, I'm not so good with remembering lines. <laughs> Well, thank God your livelihood doesn't depend on it. I know, right? <laughs> I would have brought more pizza. Oh! Okay, okay, sorry, you, you stop it. <laughs> what is so funny about that? I don't know. It's, it's well, just the way you say it. I mean, you're funny. You got that funny thing. You're a funny guy. <laughs> Did you tell her what we talked about? <laughs> Peru. Lima. No. <laughs> um, it starts with a V and ends with an X, and hopefully with a with a T O in the middle. You know, kind of think of it. The capital of Peru is Vitox. Do <laughs> but for now, could you please just do this for me? All right, fine, but don't blame me if it doesn't work. Because you, know, you know as well as I do, once Joey sets his mind on something, more often than not, he's going to have sex with it. <laughs> First, I was afraid. I was petrified. Hi. Hi. I, uh, I'm here for my eyebrow appointment. Name? Chandler Bing. Well, 
maybe you're going about this the wrong way, you know? I mean, think about it. Single white male, divorced three times, two illegitimate children. <laughs> the personal ad writes itself. All right, look, it hurt so bad I could only let her do one eyebrow, and now they don't match! <laughs> It's like a baby caterpillar chasing its mama. Uh, look, you gotta help me out, okay? Look, I have a magic marker. I want you to fill in the skinny one so I don't look stupid for my pictures. Okay, first of all, this is green. Oh. You know how most kids get their allowance from mowing the lawn or taking out the garbage? Well, I earn mine by plucking the eyebrows of my father and his business partners. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, well, I guess you don't need my help, Victor Victoria. I'll okay, wish him good luck on his first day. And I smell bacon. <laughs> he just left. Who did? Anyway, um, are you going to get a handyman to install this stuff? No, I was just going to do it myself. <laughs> You're going to do it? Yeah. Why? You don't think a woman can do this? Well, women can't. You can't. Monica, will you please tell Joey that he is a pig? You're a pig. And you can't do this. What? What? Come on. I found the hardware store all by myself. The hardware store is right down the street. There is a hardware store right down the street? <laughs> Joey, why did you tell Chandler that Monica was getting a boob job? Because she is. <laughs> Joey, Chandler knows I borrowed the money. Mm-hmm, for your boob job. <laughs> Joe, it's over. It. Okay, so I'm out $4,000, and nobody's boobs are getting any bigger? What? You want to get married? Someday. And hernia. <laughs> Maybe I'll drive you up there. I'd like to buy some tickets myself. Ooh. Yeah, with Chandler not getting paid, we could really use $300 million. <laughs> yes, because if I was at my old job, we'd say $300 million? No, thank you. <laughs> They're towing your car. They're towing your car. I'm parked in a garage on Morton. They're towing a car. <laughs> and I am seeing spots. I know the odds are against us, but somebody has to win, and it could be us. And then how are you going to feel? You know, we're going to be all like, oh, everybody, let's take our helicopters up to the Cape, and you're going to and you're going to be all like, oh, I can't, guys. I'll have to meet you up there. I got to gas up the Hyundai. <laughs> I can see the headline now. Lottery winner's friend, filled with regret, eats own arm. Why would I eat my own arm? Well, you wouldn't, but we own the paper. We can print whatever we want. Okay, all right, you're right. I won't do anything with Joey. I just thought it would be... Okay, so that'd be two cups of tarragon, one pound of baking soda, and one red onion? What the hell are you cooking? That's why you got us tickets to that play, to get rid of us. Yeah. And last year, is that why you sent us to that Medieval Times restaurant? Yeah. <gasps> and the year before that, when you set up that nighttime tour of that button factory? I can't believe you guys went for that one. I <laughs> that my guys won't get off their barca loungers, and you have a uterus that is prepared to kill the ones that do. <laughs> it means... Right, Chandler. It means that we can keep trying. But there's a good chance this may never happen for us. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I well, no. No, no, uh, I'm an actor. You probably recognize me from a little show called The Days of Our Lives. Dude, it's, it's just Days of Our Lives. There's no the. <laughs> okay, Ross. Well, you, was, uh, yeah. No, no, I, uh, I play Dr. Drake Ramore. I'm sorry. I don't own a TV. You don't own a TV? <laughs> What's all your furniture pointed at? All right, I don't want to alarm anybody, but Monica's hair is twice as big as it was when we landed. Okay, when I go places with high humidity, it gets a little extra body, okay? <laughs> That's why our honeymoon photos look like me and Diana Ross.